So today I'm going to be going through my goodie bag that I got from the Trimcraft event. If you haven't already seen my video on the Trimcraft event, then I'll leave it linked below. I go into more detail on the event in that video. I'm not going to be going over much about the event in this video. This is purely going to be a goodie bag haul. The bag itself is really nice. It has a zip on the top and a pocket on the inside with a zip. So I have a feeling if I go to any crafty meetups, this is going to be the bag that I take. So yeah, I'm just going to get started because I know this video is going to be long. <laughs> so first of all, there is these letters. They are wooden letters and they spell out the word craft, obviously. They've included these in here because, I'm assuming anyway, these can be used with the deco mache. I will try and find some of that next. So there's some paint brushes, which is for the deco mache. There's some deco mache glue. I'm trying to find all the papers because they are so pretty. I'm so excited to start using them. There they are. Okay, so these are the deco mache papers. I am in love with this one. I also love this one, which is one of the ones I used in my frame, which I've put somewhere and I don't know where I put it. But you can see the frame I made in my other video. But yeah, these are all the papers that are in there. I am planning to do some videos on deco mache. I have thought of a few ways that I can use it in Happy Mail and my journaling and stuff. So I thought that might be a good idea to do a video on. So yeah, I got a nice selection of papers. There is a couple of chalk markers. There's then some card photo frames. There's this tool which is a precision craft knife and it does have a few different blades that can go on the end. There's a double sided tape runner. There's then a load of stamps. So these are the clear stamps that you stick on an acrylic block. So there's this one which says thank you. This one says someone special. This one has some paw prints on. There's a flamingo one. This one says happy birthday. I love the combination of a bold kind of like typewriter font and the brush lettering. There's this one that says with love. This one has a what are they called sugar skull is that the right word but yeah one of those kind of pretty skulls and then there's this one that has two balloons and it says happy birthday there's then a load of foiled washi tape so there's a gold one with hearts there's a silver one which is upside down and it says happy birthday this one is silver with stars this one is gold and it has a kind of dot and cross pattern on it and then there's a gold zigzag one and a silver striped one there's then some clear dry acrylic glue. There's some 3D pearl effect paint. I think it's paint. I have a feeling it kind of gives the same effect as enamel dots and I got that in silver, green, gold, blue and pink. I've just found another stamp and this one has some smiley faces on. We then have some dies. So there's this one which says happy birthday. There's a bike. There is some stars. There's some numbers and also some flowers. You could probably layer these on top of each other so it makes one really big flower or you could use them separately. There's then a 30 centimeter craft ruler. We were using these on the day and they were actually really good. They have like a metal strip down one side so you could use it to cut along and obviously you can use it to to draw a line. So all of these things that I'm about to show you are actually from one of their brand new collections which is called Kiss and Makeup. I think they said it's going to be launching someone soon. I'll go through all those papers in a minute. I'm going to go through these things first. So there is some enamel dots which are glittery and these and the gems got a bit messed up in my bag. They were right at the bottom. So some of them have come off the backing but they won't be too hard to revive. So in here there's two shades of pink and then there's some red ones and there's a load of different sizes. And then these are heart-shaped adhesive pearls. So again, you can see they've kind of all moved about a bit. And these ones are all the same size, you just get two different colours, so you get the pink and the red. There's then these brads, which are in the shape of lips. There's a pack of tags, which are all in different shapes. So we've got some hearts, there's some lips, there's a rectangle shape, and then there's a speech bubble. And then last of all, with the kind of bits and pieces, is these stickers. And these are called dimensional stickers, but they are pretty much chipboard stickers. So you have a load on this side, and and then you have some on the back as well. And then in here we have all the papers. So we have some lipsticks. There is some eyes and eyebrows. There's some mouths and inside they say hey. There's some mascara ones. There's some multicolored lips. There's some hearts and dots. And then there's this pink grid design. And then there's these two which I don't have in the six by six. So I have this one which has hair grips and hair bands on. And then this one that has a load of nail varnish on. So these are the last things which are in the bag. So we have some alphabet 
bet stickers. These ones are cork. These ones are just a plain black foam. And then these ones kind of look like Scrabble pieces. These are from their Simply Creative range, which is their really affordable range. I then got two 8x8 pads. So this one is Wild at Heart. This is their first edition paper collection as well, which is a bit more expensive, but the quality of them is amazing. And one of the things I really like about these pads is that they have such a variety of card in them. So you have the double-sided card at the back, and then you have a load of one-sided card, which has a load of different textures on. So you can see there, these ones are embossed. This one, you can't really tell from the camera, but it has a kind of cross hatching on. So you get the double-sided playing card, and then you also get a load of different styles of card in the front as well. So in one pad, you get such a variety, which I think is really, really good. This is the other pad that I got, and this one is Storyteller. This one has less textures, and it has more kind of glittery, pearly designs in. So there's actually glitter on some of these pages, and some of them, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, um, but they've kind of got a sheen on them because they have a pearl effect. So it's the same as the other pad where you get half of them which have effects on them and then the other ones are just plain papers which are double sided. And then last of all I got four 12 by 12 pads from the Simply Creative range. So this one is around the world and you get a few which are double sided and then you get some which are just one sided. It's the same in all of these where you have some which are double sided and some which are just plain on the back. This one is the Sweet Dreams pad. So in here there's a lot of feathers, there's clouds, there is dream catchers um, and there's a nice kind of purple and pink colour scheme. This one is the craft keepsake. So these ones are craft effect. They're not actually craft paper. So yeah, you just get a load of brown papers with black patterns on. And again, those with the double sided ones and then you get the plain backed ones. And then last of all, there is this one, which is the Make-A-Wish pad. This one is very much party themed. There's a load of birthday phrases. There is a load of patterns. I love this one for the patterns. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of them. I love this one, which is kind of like sprinkles. Um, but yeah, it's very much aimed around birthday parties and stuff. So there's lots of balloons and everything. There's absolutely no possible way of me fitting everything in frame. There is so much stuff. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in the goodie bag. If you're near the range or hobby craft, then definitely keep an eye out for the Dovecraft range, the Simply Creative and the first edition papers. It does say on the back of the products that they're by Trimcraft as well, so you can always check that. I cannot wait to get into this stuff. I am definitely gonna do a journaling spread using these things. As always, if you have any questions, then let me know below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.